let's do what we're here to do. Let's honor these teachers, shall we? And so we're going to get started. Who's going to come up and help me do that? That's right. Rhonda and Sue. And as she mentioned earlier, we are going to do this in order of school districts. And apparently at the age of 47, I'm finally going to have to break out these. Because I can't see. Okay, that's better. I'm not going to read the entire bio. You have that in your program. But uh, just, just some incredible teachers that we're here to recognize today. Let's start with the Alito ISD from the Daniel Ninth Grade Campus. Please welcome Arlene Shelton. Shelton possesses an incredible passion for learning and innovation. She models lifelong learning and risk-taking for her students on a daily basis, challenging them to discover their passions and interests and intentionally fostering those through authentic project-based learning. You can continue to walk down. That, you don't have to stay there. You're good. <laughs> Mrs. Shelton brings a new level of art education to our school and our students through the integration of technology, STEAM instruction, Collaborative learning and exploration. Thank you very much. From the Alvord ISD, Alvord Middle School, teaching science in the fifth grade, please welcome Carrie Walker. <laughs> Mrs. Walker exudes kindness and compassion even in the toughest times. Students and parents know they can talk to Mrs. Walker and that she cares. She goes to the nth degree to make sure her students understand the scientific concepts she's teaching and enjoy the various experiments she has planned for them. From the Nasal ISD, teaching second grade at Cross Timbers Elementary School, Jacqueline Christian. Ms. Christian is exemplary because she is a master of creating engaging lessons that allow students to take ownership for their learning. She's been a dynamic second grade teacher for the past five years and contributed to the campus earning the National Blue Ribbon Award in 2016. In 17, she was voted Teacher of the Year for the district and honored at the Regional Banquet in August. From the Bowie ISD, teaching math in the fourth and fifth grade at Bowie Intermediate, Kelly Roth. Mrs. Roth goes above and beyond the scope of her duties every day. She not only takes an active role in teaching her students, she also takes an interest in their lives. And she is a model teacher. From the Boyd ISD, teaching English language arts in the 7th and the 8th grade at Boyd Middle School, please welcome Mandy Bouchois. Building self-esteem and motivation are Mandy Bourgeois' keys to helping each student believe they are capable of learning. She establishes a climate of mutual respect that empowers students to take necessary risks to grow academically and to be willing to make a few mistakes in order to do so. From the Bridgeport ISD, teaching English language arts in sixth grade at the middle school, Kayla McComas. Kayla is a truly special educator who goes to incredible lengths to serve the needs of her students and her campus. She always pushes her students to be the very best, and they meet her expectations because they know how much she cares about them. From the Brock Independent School District, teaching science in the eighth grade, Jimmy Morales. That's why Ms. Morales is an exemplary teacher. Her principal said it's because of the dedication she has to the content area she teaches and students that cross her path every day. She's a relationship-based educator who believes each child can learn at his or her own pace. From the Burleson ISD, teaching career and tech education and criminal justice at Burleson High School, Matthew Collins. Mr. Collins provides students an opportunity to have access to relevant learning every day. Not only is he the criminal justice teacher there at the CTE department, he's also a learning leader on their campus. The position enables him to lead and grow their teachers in the department 
and carry the same vision. From the Castleberry ISD, teaching bilingual humanities in the fifth grade at Joy James Elementary School, Jeanette Bray. She's on a mission to help each child become a better person in their life's journey. She accomplishes this through inspiring instruction and guidance regarding academics and life. She impacts an entire campus of students, parents, and teachers. In fact, she impacts an entire district. From the Chico ISD, special ed, 6th, 7th, and 8th grades at Chico Junior High School, Debbie Hartzell. Ms. Hartzell's principal had the following comment for her. She said, or they said, during my 23 years in education, I have seldom had the privilege to work with someone who truly enjoys teaching because every day they go into the classroom, they love helping the students. She's been doing that for 42 years. And this is the second time her district has singled her out for this honor. Pretty awesome. Now our next um, honoree is not able to be here today, but her principal is here today. Jeff Russell, principal there at Decatur High School, is there representing Brandy Mayfield from Decatur ISD. And I'll just tell you that uh, she works with students with severe and profound disabilities, a positive impact on each of their lives. And you can clap for her as well. Thank you, Mr. Russell. Okay, from the Garner ISD teaching math at Garner Elementary, Elizabeth Butler. Ms. Butler strikes the perfect balance between structure and fun. Her intermediate math classroom is always full of excitement and discovery, and the students function beautifully within the controlled chaos of small groups, learning rotations, independent technology practice, games, songs, and dances. That's the funnest math class I've ever heard of in my life. <laughs> she is constantly engaging in professional development and conversations to improve her practice, and the results have been phenomenal. From Grayford High School, teaching English, John Richmond. Mr. Richmond connects with his students through his love for literature. Students really enjoy his class because he teaches in a way that enables them to understand. He spends countless hours preparing his lessons so students walk away with a new love of the English language. John Richmond has inspired many students to pursue teaching English after high school. Pretty cool. From the Granbury ISD at Bacchus Elementary School, teaching science in the fifth grade, Pamela Carver. Pamela is exemplary because she instills a love for learning and science and for science in her students. She makes her class so exciting, her students don't want to miss it. Parents feel extremely lucky if their kids have or have had her as a teacher. She has a true passion for teaching and for making her class hands-on and for creating a learning environment in which her students thrive. From Jacksboro ISD, Jacksboro Middle School, teaching social studies in the sixth grade, Elaine Jorgensen. <laughs> Elaine has spent her 28-year career, career teaching students right there in Jacksboro. She has a great sense of humor and is a mentor among her peers. Ms. Jorgensen's love and passion for her profession adds so much value to the lives that she touches. From Joshua at Nichols Middle School, special ed, 6th, 7th, and 8th grades, please welcome Lacey Brown. <laughs> Lacey exhibits all the qualities of an exemplary teacher to include dedication, dependability, encouragement, positive attitude, and a genuine love of teaching. She is currently the department head of the special needs department and an active member of the Campus Improvement Committee, coordinator for academic UIL, and an integral part of the response to intervention team. She is a model teacher in every respect. From the Lapan ISD, biology, seventh and eighth grades at Lapan Junior and High School, please welcome Mary Irvin.
Mary has consistently looked for ways to improve her instruction each year to benefit all students. She's been a leader among the faculty in gathering data from multiple sources and using it to plan her strategies. Scores on state assessments have improved each year as a result. Like Pan is very proud to nominate her to this award. From the Millsap ISD, teaching math at Millsap High School, Christy Lee. <laughs> Mrs. Lee genuinely loves people. She works countless hours connecting with teaching and tutoring students. She is continually trying to find innovative ways to teach her content, as well as have those students know and show her that they have mastered that content. Millsap is fortunate to have her. From the Mineral Wells ISD, at Mineral Wells High, Agriculture Science, Bo Stutz. <laughs> Mr. Stutz is able to show students how skills learned in agricultural science can be used throughout their lives, regardless of their career path. Students learn responsibility, independence, and the value of hard work while they develop skills that can allow them to earn a primary or secondary income. The value of what Mr. Stutz does as a teacher for their students and their community can't be measured. All the way from the Monster ISD, Monster Elementary School, Special Education, first through sixth grades, Gracie Wimmer. Gracie is always smiling with a calm, she's smiling right now. With a calm, peaceful demeanor, incredibly knowledgeable about her subject matter. She never falls into one teaching style. She is constantly looking for new and innovative ways to reach her students and to make learning fun and exciting. She's genuinely concerned for her students and her students adore her. From the Palo Pinto ISD teaching first grade, Kelly Hamilton. Ms. Hamilton is a designer and innovator of engaging, standards-focused lessons. Her individual, hands-on approach to reach higher levels of learning keeps her students engaged and productive while making continuous progress. It's obvious through parent, colleague, and student feedback that this dedicated educator empowers students to develop a passion for learning, and she ensures that every student truly believes in their ability. From the Paradise ISD, teaching at the high school, English 4 and college English, Georgia Headley. Her ability to connect with students and her talent for teaching simple concepts as well as more advanced topics are both truly superior. Ms. Headley is a very dynamic teacher. She is the department chair for the high school campus and assists with the district leadership when discussing ELA for all grade levels. She accomplishes these tasks with great initiative and a positive attitude. From the Peaster ISD, teaching teen leadership in the seventh grade at Peaster Middle School, Mark McKeever. <laughs> Mr. McKeever is a passionate educator who speaks often to the commitment, necessity, and importance of bringing your A game each and every day. A major milestone for students in Mr. McKeever's class takes place when speeches come around. Typically, a major cause of anxiety and fear soon becomes empowering and confidence-boosting simply by the encouragement levied out by this lifetime educator. From the Parent Wit Consolidated ISD, teaching pre-K and gifted and talented, Robin Wilson. Ms. Wilson consistently incorporates higher level thinking skills into any subject or grade level in a way that students love. The love she has for her students is obvious. Students look forward to seeing her each day. She instills a love of school into her pre-K students from the first day of school. Our next attendee, or our next honoree, isn't able to be here today. But we do have a PowerPoint slide from the Poolville ISD, Mr. Randy Garman, and I'll tell you that he is known. Yeah, go ahead and clap for Mr. Garman. 
I'll just tell you, he works hard to put together a UIL math team every year, and each year that team is successful at the state level. Okay, from the Santo ISD, teaching science at Santo Junior High and High School, Rita Talent. <laughs> Ms. Talent works hard to make learning meaningful and interesting for her students. She is as passionate about teaching students who are having difficulty as she is about challenging high achieving students to grow. Whether she's preparing for class tutoring, sponsoring student council, or assisting students with science Olympiad projects, she is routinely the first to arrive on campus and often the last to leave. <laughs> From the Springtown ISD, teaching at Springtown Elementary Mathematics, third grade, Sherry Woolsey. Cherie, I apologize. Cherie is a motivated teacher who challenges her students and works hard to get every effort from them. She incorporates cooperative learning and rigorous questioning into every lesson. The students show growth in all areas, not only academics, but in the aspects of the whole child. Students become better people in Mrs. Woolsey's class. From Stephenville ISD at Chamberlain Elementary School, teaching bilingual classroom in the first grade, Barbara Godinez Martinez. She is the first to lend a helping hand to fellow teachers and is never afraid to try something new. Her classroom is engaging and enriching, inspiring students to take risks. Mrs. Godinez Martinez has a heart for her students and high expectations for their success. Our next honoree is not able to be here today, the Toller ISD, because of the flu epidemic in that district. They've shut down for, for the week, but uh, Mr. Judd Griffith teaches at Toller High School, and go ahead and give him a hand, why not? He is one of those educators who students and teachers look up to as a mentor and a friend, and has a really awesome beard as well. <laughs> It's more intense in the program than it is there. <laughs> we'll just take my word for it, okay? All right, from the Weatherford ISD, teaching bilingual studies in the first grade at Bill Wright Elementary School, Susan Ridge. <laughs> Here's some of what Susan had to say when completing an essay for the Region Teacher of the Year process. She said, I feel that our profession is the most important work there is. Sometimes the work is difficult. There may be huge challenges and frustrations that seem to get in the way of why we became teachers in the first place. What is in our control is to do the best we can every day for our kids and to continue to hone our craft to develop creative lessons that help them reach higher than they thought they could. And finally, it's my pleasure to introduce someone I've known for a long time. From Weatherford College, a recent retiree from the drama department, she was the drama department, <laughs> for 37 years, Nancy McVeigh. <laughs> I don't know who wrote this bio, but they got the first line perfectly. There was never a dull moment for Nancy McVeigh during her 37 years, and also for Weatherford College during that 37 years. It is so good to see you again, Nancy. You're doing a flip and go over here and the dogs laugh. All right. As long as the camera's rolling, we're good. <laughs> Newly retired, Ms. McVeigh had her own way to light that fire, motivate, encourage, and inspire her students. She served WC in various capacities, representing her peers on the faculty set, sponsoring college events, taking students to New York and Broadway, and on and on and on. She's passionate about the environment. She's passionate about animals. And she was a wonderful part of the Weatherford College family for 37 years. I don't know about you, but I'm impressed with the people in this room. Please give one more hand to all of our Jackson audience.